new video. Um, we are going to be analyzing graphs of parabolas. So I'm going to give you a graph and give you um, context of um, what it means. So in this graph, it is analyzing the path of a foul ball in softball. Um, so we had a formula that gave, gave us this path. So how long did the ball take to hit the ground? First, we need to look at your x and y axis. So it tells you what the units <clears throat> of those. So it says, how long did the ball take to hit the ground? So when it says how long, they're asking for seconds, which is your x value. Now, hitting the ground, meaning the height, would be zero. So if you look, we have zero, zero, which doesn't really make sense that it takes zero seconds to hit the ground. But you see here is four seconds. So that's your um, answer is just four seconds. When the ball is 40 feet above the ground, when, sorry, when is the ball 40 feet above the ground? So they're asking again for time in seconds. Um, so 40 feet, so if I look here, there's my 40 feet and it's two spots. So when I look at two spots, it's about, what is that, two thirds of the way? So about 0.6 seconds. And so about here, so that's about 3.3 .3 seconds. Now, I am not going to be picky with the 0 0.6 versus 0 0.5, 0 0.3 versus 0.2, whatever, okay? So as long as it's about that, that's what we care about. So, okay, what is the ball's maximum height? So maximum height, you look here, there we go. All right, so ball's maximum height, we were looking at, this is not quite at 65, so maybe um, 64, maybe 63, I'll go 64 feet. When you're just estimating on the graph, as long as it's close, that's, that's fine. Um, at three seconds, is the ball rising or falling? So three seconds, let's get rid of that. So at three seconds, it's right here. So if you see the ball, is it getting higher or lower? Well, it is getting lower. So this is falling. Is the ball traveling faster between one and zero and one seconds or between two and one and two? So in order to do that, so between zero and one, so it went from zero to about 43 feet. So that's 43 feet about. And then from one to two seconds, it went from here to there. So that means it went from 43 to, um, so it's only went five, five, 10, maybe 15 feet. So you have to see the change in height. So the ball is traveling faster between zero and one seconds because it went up higher in the same amount of time. So that is the first problem. I gained all of my information from this graph to find all of my pieces of information. So here's another one. The graph shows the value of Jose's stock portfolio. So first we want to figure out the Y value is value in dollars. The X value is the number of months. So how much money did Jose have after 10 months? So if we look here, 10 months, we went up. It's about.
about there. Well, now we have to figure out the units, which is sometimes a little bit tricky. So we went up one, two, three, four, five to get to 2,500. So each is going to be 500. Or you can take 2,500 and divide by five since there's five slots. So this is going to be 1,000. So how much money did he have? He had $1,000. When did Jose have 15,000? So now we have to figure out where 15,000 is. And you go all the way over. And you see that it's almost 60 months, but not quite. So maybe 58 or 59 months. <clears throat> so if you would have said 60, that would have been wrong because it's not quite at 60. If you would have said 55 months, that would be wrong because 55 months is here, 60 months is here, and it's in between. Okay, but I'm not going to be super picky on 58, 59, 57, whatever. So there is your two examples of level two. So biggest thing is to know what your X value is and what your Y value is, and then figure out what they're asking you. Do, are they giving you an X or are they giving you a Y? Um, and then finding the other one. All right. Now for your homework.